Hello, this is my first Substance Designer voice tutorial. It will be for a graph walkthrough where I'll show you the main component of the material I made. I'll start saying I mainly reference two artists. The first one is Diego Silva and the second one is Joaquin Stigson. I will link their profile in the description below. Also, let me know in the comment if you prefer this kind of walkthrough or a time lapse. Let's start with the cactus body. I started with a gradient linear tool that I scaled up a bit to remove the black on the side, and then I used a safe transform grayscale to tile it six times. And then I used just a bit of directional warp with the Perlin noise. And I finished the base height reducing the range with a histogram range node. For the aerials, I use a tile generator. Here I could actually remove the shape node. This stayed here from when I had a custom shape, but it was adding too much noise to my material. So I decided to keep it simple. For uh, this indentation that you see here where the arrows are, I just blurred them and then used a curve node with this profile that I integrated with an overlay node. Before going to see how I hide the Ariels will go through the peeling effect. For this, I used a time sampler with the polygon input that I passed through a slope blur and then non uniform blur with anisotrophy set to 1 and then to isolate the damage to the most exposed part of the plant, I used a dirt generator. I then used again a curve node. This profile you can see here to simulate the layers of the plant that you can see here. If I increase the opacity of this multiply node, you can clearly see the layer effect. And we get to the aerials integration with this non-uniform blur to remove the damage from the holes and then I added to the high map with the art linear dodge and that's basically it for the high map generation the base color are just three simple gradient map blended together using the mask I made during the high generation you can see here the Really simple gradient for the exposed layer of the plant, a gradient for the cactus body, and a gradient map for the iris. I also sometimes use hue saturation lightness node to modify a bit the, the output of the gradient map. I also use base color to generate an SSS map to use later in Marmoset. This is just an HSL node that saturates the map and then I just remove the effect from the aerials a bit. Lastly, the roughness that I made inverting the high map to which I added on top a flat gray to bring all the value together. I then subtracted the exposed layer to give a sense of wetness that comes from the exposed layer underneath so they will shine a bit more and lastly I overlaid on top a directional noise with really low opacity to give a bit more interest and detail to the material at glancing angle and that's it for the body let's go to the spines I started making just one spine with some shape and a gradient and then I made three different variations of a splatter circular that I plugged in the tile generator. I then added a bit of variation with the float feed, a directional warp and then I made the color with the gradient map. For the high map I used the tile generator to create this hole that will look like coming out from the arrows. 
and here you can see the final result in Marmoset. I hope you found this helpful and the full substance graph and the Marmoset scene will be available on my Gamroad linked in the description.